So welcome to my channel uh, Space Remote Sensing and GIS and today we are actually going to discuss a very short topics on how to download the Sentinel uh, 5P processing okay uh, data how we are going to download and how we are going to process in our SNAP even uh, the ArcGIS Pro is also supported as it is a NetCDF file so you can open it there but it is taking more time in uh, opening in ArcGIS Pro so better you can go with the SNAP also okay so let's see how we are going to uh, deal with this data and how we we'll download this data sets okay so first is you have to go here and then uh, simply uh, type this one okay so like sentinel p5 data download okay so please just click on enter so you will get this copernicus okay so access ham so simply open it and under this uh, you just see here you have options uh, on on this also uh, just um, you have options uh, sorry very sorry uh, so here you just see here you have options for sentinel uh, 5p data so click on that okay and you will land to the page where you will just going to search your data set so you need to do the login with your id so it is a, a sp5 uh, guest and uh, sp5 guest so that the same id which i actually used here okay so now if you want to search some location okay so just go to that location suppose i want to see the air quality over the delhi so i'm just going to zoom on that particular location okay so simply go like this down and activate your uh, the study day selections so you can uh, select a little more and you can select like this so which will cover the full uh, Delhi. Now you come to this, okay, and here you have options to give the selections of the Sentinel mission, uh, okay, so mission Sentinel 5P, okay, and here you can, a lot of products types will are there, so if you don't want to search in a specific product, then it's fine, okay, processing level, you can go for the L2, okay, and this is a timeline, so if you want to download on offline, so that's why you have to select this now offline. Okay, so that's all so if it is fine then you can simply click on search so it will take a minute few minutes time and you will get the list in a website column and you see here there is a website columns you will get the list okay so so2 is there o3 is there so whatever you want okay so accordingly you can uh, download suppose this is no2 okay nitrogen oxide suppose uh, i just want to see that so you can click on this so it will show you the location where this data pass is actually going on okay and now uh it's a very simple you just need to click on this okay to download this data set so i will just ready with this data so i'm just simply click on download okay so you just see here it is download is actually going to start okay so let's say it download and then i will going to show you the data so as you seen here uh, data is already start downloading okay but i am not uh, trying to finish it okay so because i already download one data set for your demonstrations okay so i will just close this download and, and i will going to open these data sets only so let's uh, go to that site see where i kept my data so that is this is the data sets okay so under the drive i save these data sets okay so now if you want to open a snap so just go and type snap okay so desktop okay so if you go in a desktop so it will take a few minutes time to open see here i already opened this snap and this is how it is looking like so what you need to do is you just uh, need to click on this click on uh, the file and then simply click on open so as it is taking so much time to open okay so uh, that's why i'm just directly open it and once it is came see here you will get uh, all the bands like this okay all the bands like this so simply go to the bands and whatever the bands you want to open okay so just you need to uh, select here okay and it will take few minutes time and it will going to create your image which you can able to see it over here okay so that is a very easiest process uh, to open this image okay and uh, you can see a particular locations over anywhere in the world 
okay so that is a beautiful thing of uh, the snp5 so a lot of people who are working on the uh, the air quality model so they are actually using these data sets uh, for a lot of the users okay so if you see here in case of arcgis pro i already added this okay layer so as i given added to all layers so it is taking time so i should have selected only one but yes it is very nicely it is supported in arcgis pro also so where there also you can able to uh, say, uh, means uh, you can join this like if i open a one more arcgis pro so then you can understand these things how we will going to do that okay so just uh, give me a few minutes to open the arcgis pro so from where you will going to open it from arcgis pro so i'm going to show you that so as you seen that arcgis pro is already open so for this uh i just open a new map okay so just to show you okay so we'll click on okay so now arcgis pro will open and uh, as it is a net cdf file so we all know that uh, even my earlier previous videos is also there how we're going to open the net cdf files the best way is if you go in a map okay and under this you have a privilege to select directly the multi-dimensional raster layer so click on that wherever your uh, data sets will be there you just see here then go to that particular folder and you will see it will support this uh, s5 directly simply click on ok so it will upload over here within a few minutes okay so you see all your data sets will be there so whatever the specific data you want to see okay you want to go to that particular data sets and accordingly you select and then click on ok so that's all then only you will get to see the data sets in arcgis pro also so today we are going to give you this a very small lecture on uh, this sentinel uh, s5 uh, p data sets okay so i hope you like this lectures so please be there for the next lecture so we we'll come we will going to come with a very uh, different types of lecture in the coming weeks okay thank you thank you very much